Hi. Okay, so I have here two sort of devices. The basic one and the RF. At the first I didn't understand why one is more expensive, but now of course I know. So let's take a look. This is the basic. And this is the RF. Size almost identical. This is maybe one millimeter higher. Other than this, they look quite the same. I hope you agree with me. So, okay, so this is the regular and this is the RF written RF after the summer. I am now uh, interested to see how the RF is working. So the RF is working with RF remote control. The advantage of course is that you don't have to use the application. You can use the application and also your RF uh, remote. So let's try to connect it and see how it goes. I don't have something at the output to connect, I need a lab or, or we can just hear the relay noise. Okay, so I found this lamp. I think we can use it. Yes, why not? So let's now connect everything. Okay, so now let's connect. Let's connect it. Make sure you connect the input to the input and not the input to the output. So first one, then the second. And then you connect, of course it doesn't matter the phase and the zero, because of course you can switch it like this in your wall, so it doesn't matter, and also you don't always know who built your house, so maybe the electricity is the opposite. Aha! Something happening. So now I'm trying to add a device. The problem is that I don't know if this is on the pairing mode. I never know if it should flash. A fast flash, slow, never really understand how it is going with the flashes. No, I think it should flash fast, if I remember correctly. So long press. I think it should be faster. <laughs> Ah, this looks better, I think, I'm not sure. Read the manual, read the fucking manual. Okay, device was found. Registering, everything is quite well. So I will give it a, a name, a lamp with RF RF and one and now done okay now I can turn it on it doesn't turn on because there is also probably a switch here 
that should be maybe like this still it doesn't light so maybe I need to do something with the lamp aha ok so now it is working and now I want to do the RF sync which I don't know how to do so I guess there is something that I need to read ok the font size is 6 let's see application blah 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 son of RF keep top input Wi-Fi troubleshooting register account Blah blah blah. Okay, where is the earth? Where is the earth part? Big pairing. Support control. Press the button on the son of R for three seconds. Aha. So one, two, three. Now we press probabilities. Yes, very simple. So, if you saw what I did, 3 seconds on the sun off, and then you press on your remote, and then it is done. So this is quite nice, because you can work with the application or without the application, and also when you press, the application changes. Look, here on my phone... Uh, on the upper you see it green and when I, I press the A button it's change color to gray and then green again okay so pretty simple to pair it to RF uh, I think it should be the RF that came with Sonoff maybe you have another RF if it is the same frequency it might work with another RF remote that you have it depends on how many bits it sent on the data world and it depends uh, about the bit time of the data okay so if you have as a remote it might work as well but you need to test it so overall pretty pleased that it is working and the very fast uh, installation as you see, pairing is very simple and hope this helps anyone and now understand why the Sonoff Basic is much cheaper than the Sonoff RF ok, so this is the reason so thank you and have a nice weekend bye